For today, we are going to discuss the Basel problem and Euler's proof. We want to show that the summation of 1 over k square from k equals 1 to infinity equals pi square over 6. You may have a good try before you look at the answer. So the Basel problem is actually named after the sweet city of Basel, where the famous mathematician Leonard Euler made his breakthrough in solving the problem. In fact, this problem was first posed by Pietro Mengoli, an Italian mathematician, in his book Novi Coratori Arithmetica in 1650. So in his book, he was asked to find the exact sum of the series summation 1 over k square, where k equals 1 to infinity. Many favorite mathematicians, including the Manuli family's member, Jacob Manuli, Johan Manuli, Daniel Manuli, as well as Leibniz, Sterling, and De Morvi, all attempt to solve the problem. It was first found out by Euler that the sum equals pi squared over 6. Before we go to the proof by Euler, we try to get an estimation of this summation. Note that 1 over 1 square equals 1. 1 over 2 square is less than 1 over 1 times 2, which is 1 minus 1 over 2. 1 over 3 square is less than 1 over 2 times 3, which is 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. And 1 over 4 square is less than 1 over 3 times 4, equals 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. And we can continue with the same pattern, that is 1 over n square less than 1 over n minus 1 times n, which is equal to 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n. So the sum of the terms on the left hand side will be 1 over n square plus 1 over 2 square and so on until 1 over n square. And this is less than 1 plus 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 and continue with the pattern until 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n. So the sum of this, after the cancellation, it is equals 2 minus 1 over n. And therefore, we know that the sum of 1 over k square from k equals 1 to infinity is less than 2. This is the first approximation that we can get easily. However, this is far from the exact solution. Let me now present the method by Euler. First, we know that the Macron theory of sine x is x minus x power 3 over 3 factorial plus x power 5 over 5 factorial minus x power 7 over 7 factorial and so on and in general is negative 1 power n x to the power of 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial and this means that sine x over x equals 1 minus x squared over 3 factorial plus x power 4 over 5 factorial minus x power 6 over 7 factorial and so on. So from the left hand side it is sine x over x and from the right hand side it is a series and we can treat this series as a polynomial of infinity degree. So now we suppose px equals to sine x over x and it is a polynomial with infinity degree. Note that px equals 0 implies that x equals to k pi for any integer k. Before we proceed, let us look at some background of the result that we need. So this is followed by the factor theorem. And it says that if f is a polynomial and f a is 0, then x minus a is a factor of fx. Namely, fx equals to x minus a times another polynomial gx. And we can modify about the factor x minus a and write as a times x over a minus 1. Furthermore, we can write as negative a times 1 minus x over a. So we combine the negative a and gx and call it as a new polynomial hx. Now we can generate this result as follow. If f is a polynomial and f a1, f a2 until f a k equals 0, then x minus a1, x minus a2 all the way to x minus a k are factors of fx. And this means that fx can be written as x minus a1, x minus a2, all the way to x minus a k, multiplied with another polynomial. And using the similar method, we can factor it as 
a1 a2 all the way to ak times x over a1 minus 1 x over a2 minus 1 all the way to x over ak minus 1 times gx and we can further modify as 1 minus x over a1 1 minus x over a2 and all the way to 1 minus x over ak and the rest of it just classify as hx So let's continue for our proof by Euler. And since p x equals 0 implies x equals to k pi for integer k, so we can say p x as 1 minus x over pi, 1 plus x over pi, 1 minus x over 2 pi, 1 plus x over 2 pi, 1 minus x over 3 pi, 1 plus x over 3 pi, and so on. So the first two terms give us 1 over x squared over pi squared. And the next two terms give us 1 minus x square over 2 square pi square. And if followed by 1 minus x square over 3 square pi square, and so on. Now we successfully write px into a few different form. That is, number 1 sine x over x, which is equal to 1 minus x square over 3 factorial plus x power 4 over 5 factorial, and so on. It is also equal to 1 minus x square over pi square times 1 minus x square over 2 square pi square times 1 minus x square over 3 square pi square and so on. Expand all this factor and we obtain a series start with 1 and followed by negative x square times 1 over pi square plus 1 over 2 square pi square plus 1 over 3 square pi square and so on and compare the coefficient of the term in x square, we obtain 1 over 3 factorial equals 1 over pi square plus 1 over 2 square pi square plus 1 over 3 square pi square and so on. And this means that 1 over 1 square plus 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 3 square and so on equal pi square over 3 factorial which is pi square over 6. This means that the summation of 1 over k square where k equals 1 to infinity equal pi square over 6. That's all for today's discussion on the Basel problem using Euler's method. Hope you learned something new today and enjoyed this video. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.